everyone. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through a repair that I had to do for my factory R. It was leaking where the Carter support meets the engine. I wasn't really sure what was going on. Um, we did see some oil leaking though. And between looking at diagrams and consulting with our paramotor group, as well as some other folks, we narrowed it down to four different situations. Um, number one, the Carter support screws were loose. That actually ended up being the case. Of course, it could be more than that. Um, we'll see as time goes on. I want to put another hour on it since doing the repair, but no leaks. So fingers crossed that was uh, the only issue with it. Um, it could have been a bad seal. It could have been that the engine is out of round, or it could be that the machine screw holes um, were not machined deep enough. So more to come, but um, I want to put out a huge thank you to Bobby Ben, Pat Paramotors and Viterazzi for the awesome support. Um, they've offered to ship the motor back to Italy and take a look at it. Um, I ultimately ended up doing the repair myself. I didn't want to be out of the air. I don't know how long shipping was going to take or how long they'd end up having the motor. They definitely assured me that they would expedite it, make it really quick for me, you know, that sort of thing. And um, just overall, the customer service between all three has been absolutely incredible. So thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. I hope that I won't need it, but um, but certainly really good to know that it's there in case I ever do. All right, so here is the actual video of the repair. I'm going to go through uh, the steps to take off the, uh, the pull starter and the flywheel to get to um, where the car support connects to the engine. And there's essentially four screws there that we go ahead and um, replace and uh, and go from there. So go ahead and take a look and um, I'll probably give some commentary and show some diagrams as we go through it as well. We'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first process is taking off the pull start here. So it's gonna take an eight millimeter. By the way, shout out to Sky Sports USA for hooking me up with all the parts that I need to do this job. So definitely appreciate it. All right, one thing to note on the um, uh, the pull start here is on the factory R, this is a smooth spacer right here. So you can actually just use your fingers to hold it. Um, you could also put like a rag around it and, you know, do like a crescent wrench or something to hold it in place if you really wanted to. And then, you know, turn, turn out these screws to come out on the other most 185, um, engines that I've seen, you could actually put a 13 millimeter, uh, wrench around here it'll keep it in place it's kind of like got notches in it for uh for a 13 millimeter so yep so that's easy enough to take off and uh everything's is obviously still in really good condition it's only got 35 hours on uh this engine so pull start's still in really good condition all right next thing that you'll need in order to perform this job is a um a piston stopper so essentially what you'll want to do is just take out your spark plug. So I've already done that. Just your traditional spark plug socket. Take that bad boy out. Fit this uh, piston stopper in. Just make it snug. You know, once it gets snug, maybe a quick quarter turn. Um, just make sure it's tight in there. And then um, we've got our um, flywheel that is now exposed. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so there's our flywheel. So what's cool is um, after you've got your piston stopper in there, your flywheel will completely stop. So, uh, so you can rotate all the way to the right, stops. Rotate all the way to the left, and it stops as well. So you'll be able to, to get that pulled off. All right, so the next step on the flywheel, now that you get the piston stopper in there, is rotate it all the way counterclockwise, so to your left, right? And then we're gonna take a 13 millimeter socket, which we've already got here, and we're gonna loosen up the nut that's on the inside. Now be careful here too, there is a wave washer, I believe that's what they're called, um, on the inside, and you do not wanna lose that. So, um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get this taken off. There we go. I believe this is torqued to between 43 and 45 um, newton meters. Certainly if you had a um, 
larger uh, ratchet, the leverage would help with that piece there. All right, I see the wave washer inside. We're actually gonna leave it there um, for this next step because now we are going to need your flywheel puller, which is comprised of these two parts here. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna take this black part out. This will screw in later. So we'll take this piece right here and I can list the part numbers um, that you can get these from Sky Sports USA as well. All right, now we're going to want to thread this in. Okay, it is snug. All right, that is in there. Now you want to you want to rotate obviously the flywheel all the way to the right hand side, but it is snug in there. So now we'll go ahead and insert the the black screw here, bolt whatever. All right, it is on there. This requires a 19 millimeter. All right, now that we've got that, we've got our socket with the 19 millimeter um, socket on there. And this is where we wanna just tighten until it comes, there we go. You felt it kinda come loose and then you can go ahead and pull this flywheel off, boom, and there we go. All right, so now we're good. Here's our flywheel, flywheel still looks really good. All right. All right, so here is where um, we have an issue, had an issue. Um, we're gonna replace these. Um, so inside here, the Carter support here, there are these four screws that connect the, um, the Carter support to the actual engine itself. And um, when I took this off the very first time, um, this one, was about halfway out and this one was almost all the way out these two were still in pretty good but um yeah i went ahead and torqued those down to spec i'm actually going to replace them though under the recommendation of my buddy francisco um who mentioned that we should uh should replace these in case the uh the threads were you know damaged in the process of being turned out so we're i'm gonna pause and go ahead and get the new screws all right so the beauty of um having to do repairs is you get new tools and I love getting new tools. Um, I did not have a set of three eighth inch um, Allen keys and now I do. So that is awesome. This one requires a five millimeter. So let's look for our five millimeter. I used an Allen key the first time I did it, but of course you can't use an Allen key to get it down to, um, to, to your torque spec. So. Um, we're just going to go ahead and get these off. And then again, thank you, Sky Sports USA. They provide me with a brand new one. So this is about the size of them. So they don't, um, back out or they don't, you know, there's not a lot there. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure if these are supposed to have Loctite on them initially, but I'm definitely going to add some to it just to be on the safe side and make sure these do not back out again. Hopefully... This solves my leaking problem that I've got. Um, we will see. If it doesn't, I went ahead and um, ordered some new seals as well. You'll see in the center there, that little bronze uh, piece there. Um, that is the seal. So here's the a replacement seal uh, for it. So we are first gonna test out, see if these four screws do the job. And uh, if not, I'll have to take the whole Carter support off and um, and replace that seal there. If that doesn't fix it, I'm guessing that this is what um, Fred Marson had mentioned was that um, perhaps it's out of round and then I would have to definitely send it to Viterazzi for a, um, yeah, under the warranty. But hopefully that's not the issue and uh, we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and take these off.
All right, so these, I don't see any obvious wear on them, but it definitely does not hurt to replace, so. The good news is, um, you can, so on the other side of this Carter support, um, if you have to take it off, you've got to scrape off, there's an adhesive, like a sticky adhesive, and you can put um, Rhinz oil, Renz oil, I've got it just in case, um, in case we need to do that as well. But if I, need, if I pull this whole piece off here, I would need to re-lubricate. I can see some of the lubrication in here um, right now. So hopefully, you know, all that is still intact and didn't separate enough for it to cause any major issues there. But let me go get the um, Loctite and I'll be right back. Okay, let's apply some Loctite. And I'll get this torqued down with a proper um, torque wrench at the very end. Actually, I'll go grab that now. Might as well. All right, there we go. All right, one down. Just a few more to go. make sure they're all good still okay. they're all set at 15 newton meters and we are good to go all right Oop. so now just gonna get the flywheel back on um important to note there is a small um in case you gotta you gotta knock this off there's a little channel here for this little metal piece um in order to get to get this piece off you'd need to to knock that piece off there so i'm not gonna mess with it because i'm just putting the flywheel back on but when you put the flywheel back on you have to make sure you line up uh the channel with that so You'll notice on the flywheel, there is this little channel right here. That needs to line up with that little piece right there. So just uh, need to make sure you do that. All right, we got all four, our, all four screws um, back in place there. So we are good to go. Again, be careful when you're taking this flywheel puller off. There's the wave washer inside there and it's kind of got a weird shape to it so don't be alarmed by that all right let's line it up yeah it's on good deal all right now you want to rotate it obviously all the way to the right because um we need to put the um the nut back on it. Don't forget your wave washer. So we'll go ahead and get that in there. Get our 13 millimeter nut. Get that back on. All right, now for me, I took note of where each one of these went. This one with the, um, it's got the handle attached to it with the longer sort of, um, or the little short stubby um, spacer here. Uh, that one goes in the top left corner up here. So let's go ahead and get these lined up. All 
All right, it is 10 Newton meters. This is why it's good to have different tools, right? So this one is E-Torque. I do really like this one. This one's between six and 28 Newton meters. I had to get the other one because, you know, it was between 43 and 45 um, Newton meters. And um, so obviously it didn't go that high. So, but I really like this one. This is probably my, my favorite one so far. What, I said 10, right? 10 Newton meters. So this one's really easy. Just dial it in until you get to where you need, and then you push up, boom, and it's locked in. All right. Okay. If you've never used a torque wrench before, you gotta make sure to hold it at the very end over here. Um, if you hold it anywhere else, you won't get that click and, um, and know that it's at the right torque spot. You can over torque it if you're not on the, the bottom of the handle there. So just something to remember. All right, you hear that? Click. Click, click, click. boom. All right, boom. The engine is back together. All right, easy enough, right? So, pretty quick operation. Um, <coughs> what I need to do now is I need to clean the rest of this oil off. And um, yeah, let's put her back on. Let's uh, run her for a few minutes and um, or longer and see if she leaks. If she does, well, then we gotta do it all over again. Um, replace that seal and or send it back to Viterazzi. So hopefully it doesn't come to that. Let's uh, let's pray and hope that this lasts. Well, we made it this far. Thank you for watching the video and uh, hopefully you learned something from it. And if you ever have to do this yourself, maybe it gives you another perspective to look at things. Um, let's pray and hope that this is the long-term fix for it and that we're good to go. Thank you everyone and have a great day.